Hi, it's Lou. And I wanted to give you some additional information about advancing your business. You know, one of the things that I love is our house monster system. I started doing that myself in our business in 2009. In 2010, I told my clients, sell everything you've got to the tenants that live there. I said, here's an opportunity that you can generate some huge down payments from the people that already live in your homes. It evolved into an amazing product. We call it the house monster. Many of you have gotten started with me with the house monster. If you're just joining me now, you, you're not aware of the house monster, but let me tell you what it is. It's a way to find buyers before you even buy the property. And it's an amazing opportunity because there's many people out there that are extremely underserved by the banking community. That means that the banks have guidelines and they have boxes that they have to live inside of called compliance guidelines that they simply can't work with certain folks. And those folks we can work with because we become principals in the transaction. What that means is people come to us. Many times they have significant down payments. They cannot qualify at a traditional lender and we can go and actually custom buy a property for them. They move in, they enjoy the property. And then we not only get down payment money from them, we get monthly income from them. And when they do build up good enough credit and good enough down payment, they can refinance, pay us off, get a low interest rate from the bank. Bank loves us because we got those folks all up and running and good. And they love us because they wouldn't have had an opportunity any other way except to work with us. Well, I thought it would be great for you to see an actual case study. And this was very recently done on one of our Sunday night calls. Now we have a training that we, uh, we have for our licensees, our house monster and other licensees. We give them an opportunity to really deep dive into their businesses. And it's great when we have, case studies that we can actually share with our clients. So this was a very recent case study and I thought it'd be a perfect one for you to see because it's such an opportunity to see how we resource the customer, how much money is available because in this case study, you're actually going to see that this customer had $50,000 over time to put down on a property and the customer actually helped in finding the property and the customer actually participated throughout the whole process. And as a result of this particular deal, the customer wins and our licensee wins, everybody wins. And it's a great example of where, our licensee not only got the $50,000 down from the customer, the, our licensee also made a markup of over a hundred thousand dollars on the property. I think you're going to find that when you watch this case study, it's going to inspire you on another way to do real estate that is so totally different than the wholesaling model, than the landlording model. And it's something that's very inspirational as well, because you're making a difference in someone else's life. So join me now, watch this uh, great training that is available from our licensees and I'll follow up with a little few words at the end. Yeah, baby. And this week we have none other than Brad and Christine Treganowen and originally from Washington state uh, up there in the Walla Walla country <laughs> and uh, moved to Nashville, Tennessee uh, in Henderson, Tennessee, and they're just tearing it up. Uh, Brad and Chris, are you there? There we oh, go. Hello, hello, hello. There you are. <laughs> So I loved uh, your colors and all that good stuff. So I'm going to go over to, uh, to what you did. So okay. we have an example uh, tonight of what you guys were able to do in your world to cause some things to happen, which was really cool. And I think everyone can learn a lot from what you did and how you did it. So uh, first of all, tell them a little bit about yourself. Uh, tell them about, you know, where you're from, all that good stuff. And then we can go from there. 
Well, okay. Um, well, I'm Brad Tregadown here with my wife, Christine, and we are originally, as Lou said, from the state of Washington. Uh, we, um, Chris and I got married way back in the dark ages, 1985, so we're looking at almost 36 years of being married. I tell everybody that that's pretty good because I never had a girlfriend longer than 36 weeks. So, um, <laughs> but anyway, we, um, we have lived all over the United States, coast to coast, primarily with Chris's career. And we've been in the Nashville, Tennessee area for 13 years now, and we're really enjoying it. By the way, we really had an awesome time at Platinum, and we were very proud to uh, kind of share our city with everybody. It was a lot of fun. We were so glad to have you there. It was it was just a blast. Thank you. Yeah, and I'm Christine Tregan Allen, Chris for short, for most of you that are close to me. Um, I I worked in the uh, corporate world. I was in discount re uh, retail in general, so I was an executive for several different companies. Um, got some some got out of retail through no choice of my own, but decided once it once I had exited retail, I wasn't going to go back. So I had started a manufacturing company uh, with another gentleman, and then he retired, and re and inter and then real estate came along. Brad kept to saying he wanted to get into real estate, but then he never would sort of move. So I kind of pushed him into real estate, and he wants to tell you that. And in the beginning, we made we bought a lot of stuff that we really have never used. It was, you know, we spent money until we found Lou, and then since Lou, that's what we we used the Street Smart system. It's been and it's it, been game on, Lou. Since we, uh, I want to tell everybody that uh, I don't know about four and a half years or so ago, Lou came to Nashville to speak to our RIA, which is called RAN Real Estate Investors. Nashville and Lou came into town and he he was here to present his trust package the personal property trust and the land trust and Chris and I went to that meeting and we just kept looking at each other saying man this is really really cool we need to do this we need to do this so uh, typical at those types of events uh, we got up at the end of Lou's uh, time and we ran to the back of the room and flopped out a credit card and we bought the uh, we bought the trust package and along with that came the um, the MJS, the Millionaire Jumpstart in Atlanta. So then uh, we attended MJS and we saw the 30,000 foot flyover of what the street smart system is all about. And um, so um, so we were we were pretty much hooked right there at the end of three days. We bought the, the whole enchilada junior. And then very shortly after that, we bought the whole enchilada because we knew that we needed everything. But that didn't come without making sure that we knew who we were going to be working with. <laughs> we spent the extra money and actually went to dinner with Lou. And at that point in time, at the end of the night, he was funny because he says, well, this is the first dinner I've gone to that I haven't really sat down and been drilled about business. About real estate. About real estate. And I said, that's because we were. In, I was interviewing you because I wanted to know who I was going to be working for. I wanted to know the person working with, working with and training with. So that's what sold it. Yeah, it was. Well, it, I tell you, uh, you know, I'm a, I'm a results oriented guy and I was just thoroughly excited about this mastermind event because, Hey, you, you, you kind of own three different categories the number of properties acquired over the last four months, the most equity added, the most private money added. So definitely, I think the ROI has been amazing <laughs> since uh, you made that decision. Very wise decision. Thank you very much. I'm honored that you did make that decision and that I could be a part of your great success. Yeah, it's, 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 been, a, uh, it's been a dream come true. It really has. Yeah. It's, uh, and it seems that, and it doesn't happen overnight. Like Lou says, it doesn't happen overnight. The coaching, we, we, we did the coaching with uh, Cynthia and Kevin, and that was well worth the time because it got us into the details and got the basics set up. But even after you come away from that and you step away and even being part of Platinum, you, there's peaks and valleys. You have to continually work at it 
to get your goals. And and if you don't work at it, it doesn't happen. It's not going to be handed to you on a silver platter. You got to take the system and you really got to work the system. Yeah. Yeah. I, well, I wanted to just say something about, uh, about the fast track mentorship with the Shrivers. It was a, um, it was something that I would encourage. I'm assuming there's a number of people on here that are, might be House Monster members or, you know, people just kind of new into this thing and uh, they're still dipping their toe in the water. And I just want to say that this is a, an amazing opportunity laid right at your feet. And I would highly encourage you to uh, do some serious thought and uh, go ahead and take the plunge because it's, it, it, it really is good. The, the, met, the fast track mentorship got us off to a fast track and and we went from fast track there pretty much right into uh, right into the platinum group we were invited into the platinum platinum group and um, it's it's a great deal and it's great to be back and it is great to be, <laughs> be back we took a year sabbatical uh, Chris's parents were going through some uh, some health issues and stuff and uh, that, that's out in the state of Idaho by the way and uh, anyway so Go ahead, Luke. It's been a fun ride so far and looking forward to other things coming down the pike for sure. Uh, I love the fact that one of the things about the two of you are that you are willing to do whatever you're told to do. So basically you take the coaching and you embrace the coaching. And that's one of the things that makes my job a lot easier because I can tell you something and you'll go do it. And, and that's always encouraging to a coach. <laughs> when, Because, uh, uh, you know, there's it's like everything in life. Life happens. There's other things to do. There's other things that, that take you away from the, the ultimate strategy, the ultimate goal that you have. But you guys were willing to do what it takes. You were willing to come to the trainings. You're willing to not only come to the trainings, you're willing to watch the DVDs before you came to the live trainings, which I thought was very impressive. And and I think it was very instructive to a lot of other people because watching the DVDs before the four day event gave you an opportunity to really live into the event and know exactly what your questions were before you even got there and then be able to move through that while you were there. So that was a great commitment on your part, and it really helped to pave the road for you in the learning um, experience that, that went on with it. And well, that's a very thing. valuable tool, Lou, is having those, uh, those DVDs. And we did make a commitment for every single four-day event that we went to that we, we watched those uh, shortly before attending the the thing. So eight days of Lou is a lot of Lou. <laughs> That's a lot of Lou. <laughs> but it's a great thing that uh, you're willing to do that. And I think, like I said, it's very instructive for others. Uh, one thing that I really also love is that you embraced the concept of the community based business and really getting connected with the community, causing yourselves to get in the way of business in the way of opportunity. And the example that you shared with me uh, here tonight, I think is going to be very helpful for a lot of people because you really are taking different parts of the system here and showing exactly how it works and how it works extremely well. I think this will be very uh, not only enlightening, but inspirational to a lot of you on here today uh, as uh, Brad and Chris go through this particular experience that they had. So take it away. Well, I'm going to go ahead and let Chris talk. She's our acquisition specialist, and I'm more on the sales and leasing side of everything. So go ahead, Chris. Well, this in this particular uh, member that we 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 got was that we first started off responding to a real estate agent that was posting on a local Facebook page for the local RIA. And they had posted wanting to know if they could, you know, if there was any way, if somebody had poor credit, that they could buy a house. So I responded to that Facebook inquiry. And so 
when I responded, the agent and I gave them, I did a private message and gave them all of our contact information. And then that agent contacted me. Um, FLS is a fabulous live is short for Fabulous Living Solutions, which is our company. And when she contacted me, she basically was interviewing, wanting to know what we were about, just to make sure we were legitimate. I sent her to the website, had her go there while I was on the phone with her so I could walk through them with her so that she could really see how legitimate the company really was. And for us, we have a landing page. So it shows the both the buying, the selling, and the lending. So all three of those sites will come up for whichever area you're inquiring about. Um, so, so I think it's important to note for everyone, number one, you're calling her a member because at the beginning you said you need to join our membership. She did join the membership and that got the ball rolling. Is that correct? That's correct. I, I, I see one in here. I, that, yes. So when she referred, what she did is she referred her client, which is our member right so the real estate agent could not help her she even went to some of her private money lenders she works with some investors here in town went to a private money lender to see if they would would um make the loan for her and they would not do it so in that instance then i sent her her she sent her client to our website to fill out the membership and that's how we got started in that that whole process so once the membership was filled out um then we we engaged in a phone conversation this this woman lived in florida um she wanted to move here to nashville murfreesboro it's in a town outside of nashville to murfreesboro to be near her grandchildren and her daughter these are two grandchildren that she hasn't been close to because she's lived in florida the entire time uh, so so now, she had a, a few couple of things I wanted to in, interject here. All of you who are watching, now watch exactly what's going on. If you've been following the pattern, if you've been following what we've been teaching on these Sunday night calls, one of the things I've been talking about is get connected with real estate agents. Real estate agents are a funnel. They are a conduit. They have people that do have down payments but cannot qualify for loans. This is a perfect example. Fortunately, this agent was aggressive enough and thoughtful enough that she said, hey, there's this Facebook group. Maybe I could put something on here and just see what these real estate investors are all about and whether or not they could actually help. And Chris was informed enough to say, oh, yeah, that's what we do. This is who we are. This is what we do. And yeah. you grabbed that lead and ran with it. Now, this is what's so cool about it. Number one, there's a whole bunch of real estate agents out there. Number two, there's a whole bunch of real estate investors. Number three, they were all on that site. But you were the one who took the step. You grabbed that lead and said, let me run with it. It's not that nobody else didn't have a shot at it. They all had a shot at it, but they didn't know what to do with it. They didn't have the information. They didn't have the background. They didn't have the training that you had. And you just saw the opportunity right away. Yep. And so she was, she had another strike against her. She was self-employed. Um, she was a dog. She's a dog breeder. She was not bankable, but she had a very large down payment. So now what do you call a large down payment? $50,000. $50,000, y'all. Come on. $50,000. You see, there's people out there with money. I want to keep emphasizing that because sometimes people have in their mind, you know, they think about uh, rentals or they think about rent to own and they're thinking about a little pile of money. And I just want you to expand your thinking and know that there's folks out there that need you like a drink of water. They need what you have. They can't do what they need to do in their world unless there's someone like you. So that's a great thing that you brought to the table for them. Obviously not bankable because self-employed and the banks well, don't so have self-employed. I just put that One on here. That everybody understand is that self-employed people, well, first of all, banks have restrictions. They have guidelines. 
they have compliance issues. So while they might like to work with certain people, they can't because of their compliance and because of how they flip their loans. We might flip houses, they flip loans, and the buyers of those loans have certain restrictions. So the banks simply don't work with a lot of people that we can work with. That's exactly right, Lou. Yeah. So, All right. So now we're on to the house, trying to find her something. So because she was a breeder, she needed certain things. She needed, she wanted land. She wanted a minimum of three bedrooms, one bathroom. Uh, she needed outbuildings. So it made it difficult for us when we were going to look because we had to really specify exactly what we were looking for. Um, but we found it. It took us a, a while. It took us six months, nine months, nine months to actually find the place that was perfect for her. We put in several other offers, but based on the market, those fell through for whatever reason. It was probably a blessing because she loves the house that we ended up finding with, for her. Here's, here's an important point for everyone. When folks are in the position that this member was in, it's not unusual for them to be willing to wait and to be willing to wait an extended period of time. Now, that does not give you permission to hang out or to not pay attention or not to look for something. But when someone's parameters are such that you have to look at a lot of different things in order to find the perfect opportunity, well, they just have to be patient for that. Well, we had 50,000 reasons to act. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And another thing, too, when someone becomes a member and you're looking for something for them, it also gives them an opportunity to build up down payment over a period of time as well. So you've really got two options and opportunities when you get someone into the membership is you start working with them to help them build up that down payment while you're finding a property for them as well. Yeah, to that point, Lou, that that we that happened, right? She gave us $30,000 right away and then she came back and gave us another 10 and then another 10 as she sold dogs knowing that she she needed to have 50,000 between what whether it was all going to go to down payment we'll talk about our structuring down the the road based on what we found but the 50,000 is what we told her she needed up front and that's what she came came to us and built i think that was a key thing we told her what we needed and then she provided it perfect perfect so then you went about finding a property. You said it took you nine months to find the perfect one. And what happened next? So then we put in, we we went and visited the um, the MLS listing. This house happened to be a house that was the mother of a gentleman. It was his mother's house. And he was he just got tired of dealing with it and renting it. He had a daughter who lived in it for a while. and she didn't want to live there anymore and he didn't want to deal with it. He was getting older, so he wanted to sell it. So we went and and did our presentation to him for the path to home ownership. And then we made our, you know, when you do the cost to sell, you give them the cash offer. So no, going in, we knew he had been turned down by a, an offer with a flipper who had gone in and lowballed him. Well, he decided after he heard our program, he was going to accept our offer and he was going to cancel the three days of showings that were booked back to back to back to back. Just canceled them and, and went with our offer because he liked what we were doing and his mother would be proud to have had her home go to another mother who was trying to come and live close to her grandchildren. So again, you can't, don't think for the, like you always say, don't think for the seller because the seller has a different, you know, has a mindset of, you know, he heard that program and he said, no, this is what my mom would have had wanted to do. Again, you're, it's, you're doing the, you're the heart, you're going, you're speaking from the heart and that's what's getting them because you're helping other people achieve something that they normally would not be able to achieve. That's wonderful. So 
you had the book, is that correct? You presented yes. him with the book? Mm -hmm. Yep, yes. We present, I, I'm shaking my head. I forget I'm not on camera. <laughs> 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 yes, we, we presented the book and then we went through the presentation, the seller presentation. So you... So this is what's so important, guys. You know, it's it's all about the training. It's all about doing what we tell you to do. And uh, the fact that the Treganowans committed, they got a, a chapter in the book. They've used the book. We've featured them on another one where they're showing that they they were giving their books to Mike Huckabee, for example. They got pictures of Mike Huckabee holding their books. You know, always looking for that credibility. And when you go speak with sellers, you have a story to tell. You have an opportunity to engage them in something that's unique and different. Now, when and, and everyone, this is so important of a takeaway, because as Chris said, they canceled three days of showings with other people. You can imagine what would have happened if they had have done those showings. You can just imagine the bidding war that could have broken out. But because this seller liked the story, they liked what was going to happen with Mama's home, liked the fact that there was a path to home ownership, liked the fact that they had a mission that they were working on, and liked the fact that there was credibility like the fact that they were published authors in a book. You see, all of these are elements of success. You can do this or that or the other thing, and maybe you'll have success, but we like to look at things from the point of view is what is the, the straight path to the money? What is it that's going to secure that success? And I think this is a very telling story right here where the owner canceled three days of showings because of the program after hearing the program go ahead Chris. yeah well i just wanted to say uh, lou you were just talking about credibility and um being a certified affordable housing provider um lou you always talk about the credibility um the logos the everything that goes with it and um that's a game changer because nobody else does that no Everybody else has what we have. Um, there are a number of caps in the Nashville area. There's a platinum that lives 10 miles down the road. You know, we've never crossed paths since we've been doing this. Um, but uh, the credibility is key. And when you use that credibility, you know, the books, you know, the logo wear, uh, the cost to sell worksheet, you put all that stuff together and you sit down and have a heart to heart discussion with somebody instead of a sales pitch. Um, that's, that's where, that's where we as a big organization, a big group from coast to coast, we've got, we've got a leg up on everybody and it just simply works. It's, it's sheer genius is what it is. It's a beautiful thing. Thank you for sharing that, too. I think it's an inspiration for a lot of people to know that, hey, there are there's method to our madness. <laughs> it, it does lead to some significant profit. So go ahead with the deal. So then the deal was this house was a 1,200 square foot house. It was on three acres. Um, the cash offer, well, the cash sale. Um, what we finally settled on was 208500 Yeah, that's the picture of the house. Uh, the actual ARV for the per total purchase of the three acres in the house is three thirty four nine. dollars Today, and I only know this because we did this for Platinum, I, re I re ran all the comps, and the ARVs today is at three sixty seven nine. dollars So she's already had appreciation um, after we've sold it. We sold her the, the property. Oh, that's wonderful. So she's winning too. Yep, she's winning too. So the home needed some work. Um, we had put in at the cost to sell $10,000. Uh, we used private money. Lou talks about use, use other people's money. So we used some private money. We got $200,000 private money. 
Um, the repairs that we completed, which were the electrical, which Let, we need to uh, go back to the private money for just a second. What's your interest rate on the private money? Uh, we're paying a little more than we wanted to here because we had a, several deals in the making, but we're paying 8%. 8%. Okay. And did you have to pay any points on that? No, no points. No points. Any closing costs? No closing costs. No closing costs. Okay. So already <laughs> that brings the interest rate down when you take that into account. Yeah. So. All right. Go ahead. And then, uh, so the repairs, we, we had some things that needed some updated electrical and then hardwood floors to be finished, which we spent out of our pocket 300000 but or 3000 I'm sorry, $3,000. We didn't really spend it out of our pocket because we got money up front, but that's that's what it cost. Uh, we sold the house with the option to purchase the additional lot. Um, so yeah, here's the deposit. We received a deposit of fifty thousand dollars, and we had that before we ever went to closing. So I just want to say to everyone, the Street Smart um, add-on here was not to sell the whole three acres as part of the deal but to give the buyer the option to purchase the other two acres. So the, two, the other two acres became, when I talk about at Millionaire Dealmaker, when I talk about anatomy of a deal, this is exactly what I'm talking about. When you look at a deal, there might be component parts that you can maximize profits using. So by cutting and using the house and one acre, as opposed to the house and three acres, they were able to parlay an increase in the sales price as well as down payment. Correct. So then you have the house. So this house, this is this is the house. It's a three bedroom, one bath. Uh, she, the kitchen and the bathroom. She, uh, it's unbelievable what she's done. And I don't have pictures. I got to get pictures. That's the only gotta thing. Got to get I didn't pictures. Do. After, after pictures, but I'll get them. She'll let me come and do it. So she Great. she put a lot more into this than we would have. We would have taken the paneling and probably just painted over it. And she had it all taken down, re drywall, did a lot of stuff. So I'll, those pictures will come. Then the dr okay. the garage, she put new garage doors. And behind this garage is another outbuilding. So. It allowed her to keep her breeding business outside of her home the way she wanted it. So it really worked out wonderfully. Um, the purchase so you price was thirty thousand on the house in one acre. You sold it to yeah. her for two forty nine nine, and right. then you said, "Oh, by the way, we've got these other two acres. Would you like to buy those?" She said yes, and she optioned that for another twelve thousand dollars. So at this point. You got uh, $42,000 in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. With the insurance, we that was paid for up in, in advance. For, I wanted to make sure that we had insurance. So I found the insurance. We actually used Bill Flume's son as our insurance agent and put the insurance on the home. So I knew it was insured prior to closing. And then we held three months of payments approximately back to make sure that she would be able to, if she had a hiccup, we'd have money to make the payments. We put her so in a 40 year mortgage. Just so everybody understands that what you're saying is we have $6,000 on account. So we right. actually have an escrow of $6,000 that if she hit a bump in the road, if she had a downtime where she wasn't selling puppies or whatever, then there would still be money to make those payments. What you did was to ensure her success. You ensured the fact that she was going to be able to make those payments regardless, being self-employed, taking a risk on your part, uh, she taking a risk as well, but you held $6,000 in escrow to make sure of that, correct? Correct. Excellent. Okay. We put it on a 40 year mortgage. She paid three points and we financed at 9.75% interest. So that That's makes the principal thing. and interest payment at 1854 73 and PITI at 
One thing I didn't put on here is she had a home she was selling in Florida. This is Regina. And she had a home she was selling in Florida. During this whole process, her soon-to-be ex-husband actually died. And then she ended up going through and selling that house. She was in the sale of that house. She was going to give us an additional $25,000. So that that closed this past week. So this next this next week we're coming up to we're having a meeting and she's supposed to be giving us an additional twenty five thousand dollars. Oh, 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 yeah, baby. That's good stuff. Oh, my and gosh. One, one of the things we also did, Lou, is she wanted to she wanted to be able to pay off the house in a certain amount of time. So we did an addendum. Uh, for the for three years that would have her give us additional twenty five thousand dollars for three years on top of her on monthly. top of her monthly payment that she's already making. It's so it twenty five per year over the three years to apply towards her principal. Right. All right. So, All right. And if it doesn't happen, it just means she breaks the contract and we go back and renegotiate it. So. Well, that's perfect. And, you know, you, Brad and Chris, you have taught us so much tonight. I mean, this is a great example of what to do and how to do it, how the system works. Turn on the house monster, get connected with the community, connect with real estate agents, let them bring you people that have huge down payments, work with those people, find their dream home, work with the seller. Tell the seller who you are, what you do. Get, let the seller be aware of the fact that you're in the book, that you have presenced yourself in the community. The make the presentation, go through the cost to sell worksheet, work out the numbers with the seller, make the seller happy, make your buyer happy, make a beautiful spread on there, make a beautiful cash flow as well almost $1,900 a month cash flow on top of the the hunk of money that you got from her. You've also got the pieces of money coming in on a monthly basis. And then you're going to have these chunks of money coming in on an annual basis from this same buyer. And you made a second deal out of it where you picked up the other two acres, sold that to her separately. She's got an option to purchase that. So there are just so many street smart component parts to this deal. I remember when we were working through this in coaching and uh, there was just so many different uh, uh, elements that could be uh, organized with this particular deal. And they all came together beautifully. And I congratulate both of you for your accomplishment here. And this is just one example. You've actually got others. We didn't have time for tonight, but we do want to have you back in the future to share some of your other accomplishments because you got some we, you got some other uh, telling and teaching moments for us for sure. Yes, and I would like to add one thing, Lou. It, when you when you think of the house monster and you look at it, you say, "How well? How can you find the buyer?" Everybody's programmed to buy the house first. You got to have a house before you can have somebody. But this is a true example of starting with the member and getting the person before you even buy the house. So your risk is really taken out of it. Even the little bit of money you had to to give at the closing didn't come out of our pocket. It came out of the money that she had given to us for her down payments on and her option fees so that we didn't have to take any money out of our own pocket to well, be this, able to make this, it work. This truly was a textbook street smart transaction. I it, mean, what, from start to finish. And Chris, I love that you shared that because that is so true in how the system is designed that your buyer is actually going to give you the money necessary to purchase the home. And as long as you can get with it, stick with it, make the presentation the right way, you can structure it knowing that you've got this money coming from your buyer. So it's a beautiful example of how the system is designed, how it works and how it can beautifully orchestrate a lot of different profit centers together at the same time. Yes. 
Agreed. Well, congratulations just, on this deal. Yeah, thank Pardon? you. I said thank you. There's oh. a there's another slide there of a testimonial, but uh, you can you can use that in your other whatever you want to do with it. <laughs> yeah. So I'll go ahead and read it to us. I said, "Hello, my name is Regina, and I am a new homeowner thanks to Fabulous Living Solutions. I found FLS through my realtor Hillary. We began looking at homes." in January of 2020 with no idea how I would be financed, but we just knew that I had to relocate from PCB Florida to the Murfreesboro, Tennessee area to be near my older daughter and grandkids. And we had faith that the right doors would open. Well, those doors started opening the moment I received a call from Christine from with FLS. We started talking about my situation and I immediately felt like I had known her for years and could trust her to help me. Chris, do you want me to read it? You're having a hard time with your contacts. I had specific needs, uh, which created a seemingly impossible list of hurdles because as a small dog breeder, I needed land with at least a three bedroom, one, one bath home with one or two large outbuildings or a two car uh, garage for the dogs. I also wanted to be within 15 minutes of my daughter and grandkids. And if that wasn't enough, I needed a neighbors that would be understanding of my dogs. Fast forward over a year later, looking at over 115 homes, wow. putting in many offers, we finally found the perfect home for me, a three bedroom, one bath home on three acres with a two car garage and an additional outbuilding that I use as my nursery. It is 11 minutes for my daughter and the best part is that there are three retired breeders in my neighborhood. So all of my neighbors are so into dogs and even volunteer to help me. I scored big time. I would have never been able to obtain a home without FLS, and I have already been uh, recommending FLS to anyone I meet looking for a home. I even look forward to Christine working with other family members to re relocate in the near, near future. I have really enjoyed the process with FLS as well as all the encouragement. I, I know that FLS is here to support me in my efforts towards independence and they will push me to succeed. Thanks to Christine and the whole FLS group. I look forward to a great partnership with Regina. So um, that is fantastic. That is really a beautiful testimony. I love that. So anyway, yeah, thank you, Lou, for having us on this evening. Well, thank you. Thank you for being willing to share that. We always love the inspiration of folks that embrace the system and do what it's designed to do. And hey, you got great results here and over $100,000 in uh, profit. And I think that's worth the effort. And one of the points that she actually makes here is you didn't show her 115 homes. She got busy looking for houses. And that's one exactly of the right guys that you should know about doing business this way is your buyer is actually an assistant in this whole process. So many times the buyers will go and resource properties for you. Sometimes their agent will find properties and bring them to you as well. So you yep. certainly don't have to do all the heavy lifting, that's for sure, because they're actually playing the game along with you, running alongside you to cause things to happen. Yeah, in this instance, we did none of the late work. Between her and the agent, they did all of the work. All we did is evaluate them and put in offers. That's all <laughs> we did. And I, I mean, most of them didn't even go to the house. And did a, I mean, some of the offers I put, I was out in the state of Washington. And I did it through the phone. I toured the house with the agent with the phone. And she knew us well enough of what we were looking for and what we had to have and work really for us. Even though she brought us Regina, she worked for us to make it work for us to be able to sell her the home because she ended up with the commissions. So she knew that, you know, with us purchasing the home, she needed to satisfy our needs in order to make it work for the, everyone. So, so now, we, great. Yeah, now we've got a good, 
real real estate agent that understands what Fabulous Living Solutions actually does. She's in our hip pocket. She's sending us stuff almost daily along with a few other investor-minded real estate agents. Um, so yeah, it's it's a game on. I've got some ideas for that. We'll talk about it on the coaching call, but I, uh, I see yes. some I see some other options and opportunities there too. That's good yeah. stuff. Well, thanks again for the inspiration. Thanks for the share. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this little experience here of knowing what to do and how to do it and what it can actually look like in the real world. You simply turn on your house monster. Amazing things happen because so many leads come in. And when those leads come in, you're able to actually analyze where those folks are at. You're able to look at their credit. You're able to look at their down payment. You're able to look at what they can afford on a monthly basis. And then you're able to go resource a property that matches their situation. So sure enough, there is a great payday because if you think about the limited amount of time, that the Treg and Allen spent with this particular customer. The customer spent a lot of time finding properties that would work for themselves. And the Treg and Allen spent a much less time in actually purchasing that property and putting them into the property. Well, I think you would agree with me that the dollars per hour are off the chain, right? When you can make over a hundred thousand dollars and your customer helps you find the property and the customer gives you $50,000 down as well. So hopefully that's a great inspiration for you. And if you'd like to know more, go to housemonster.com or call us at 1-800-578-8580. That's 1-800-578-8580. And I am looking forward to seeing you at an upcoming Millionaire Jumpstart. That is one of our three day events where we actually go soup to nuts through the process, through our business model and why it is a multi-million dollar business model that's completely duplicatable and replicatable on an ongoing basis that can happen for yourself and your family for years to come. So look forward to seeing you soon. Yeah, baby.